Not everyone wants to spend more time at home. Many people who are blind would like to go out more. But at least when they are at home, they can listen to the radio or to tapes. Or now to a pioneering internet service, Blue Iris. Visually impaired users surf to the website, choose from a menu of audio material, and then listen to it on their own computer. They can do this because the project uses specialist software, which converts text to speech, offers a text magnification feature, and avoids any need to use a computer mouse. Blue Iris came about from looking at the tape service that already exists with the Blind Society. The Talking News Department puts 850 tapes out twice a week uh, on cassette to their users. Uh, Blue Iris is a method of doing this totally electronically through a personal computer. The user benefit of, of, of Blue Iris is to be able to pick and choose the content. Uh, with the cassette based systems, they get the content that has been put on the cassette and they listen to it. With Blue Iris, they can listen to a content that they choose themselves online. A lot of visually impaired people are housebound and to be able to get information and delivered to them via the internet is, is a tremendous boost. Uh, once they've got logged in onto the system, they can choose from today's content, which obviously varies from day to day, then there's an archive system which they can access through a search engine. So they're not stuck to what we actually give them on a day-to-day -day basis. They can actually go back and look at content that way. When we first started the Blue Eyes project, we realized that uh, a lot of the resources were going to be thin on the ground. So to be able to communicate with each other and get involved with the project remotely at a distance was a great, great benefit to the project. For my own personal use, I can get access to the service on a day-to-day -day basis and I live three quarters of an hour away from me, it's saving time, travel, it really is a huge benefit to the project. Blue Iris as it stands uh, is a very powerful system, uh, it gives us a lot of information, we can help the users in return. One of the things that we're aware of is that people sat in front of computers listening to audio information uh, is great for some people, but what about when you want to listen to it in the supermarket? Uh, so we're going to make good use of, of the new podcasting techniques and incorporate that into Blue Iris. When we first started uh, working on the Blue Iris project, we had some pretty preconceived ideas about working with visually impaired people. Very quickly you learn that within the visually impaired community, you've got computer literate people, computer illiterate people, and all shades in between. And that cuts across any disability. So the problems that we might have with people accessing the system are no different to the problems that we'd have with sighted people. Broadband is the key to Blue Iris. We had the Blue Iris project in mind several years ago. Uh, we knew about the streaming technologies. We could actually deliver the infrastructure of the project from a technology point of view. The big lacking link was uh, the speed of, of connectivity between the user and the system. And broadband and the availability of it in recent years has made that possible.